God created the garden and gave it to man. Man turned this garden into hell and is now trying to return it to God. Manly Palmer Hall Fairy tales have always accompanied us in childhood. They carried with them the spirit of childhood itself and were a reflection of the mysteries of the world. As children, we dreamed and looked at the world with pure eyes and opened up to it with all our childish hearts. We have always seen magic and miracle in the world. But what has changed? After all, fairy tales have not gone away and are still waiting for us and inviting us to go on a wonderful journey to unraveling the secrets of our magical world. Why, as we grew older, did we stop perceiving magic and believing in fairy tales? Because we stopped reading them and understanding their real hidden meaning. In fact, well-known children's fairy tales are not ordinary fictional stories, but have a secret meaning and originate in the deep wisdom of the ancient world. It is known that in ancient times the sages passed on knowledge about life and the mysteries of the world around them to their students with the help of rituals called mysteries. With the help of performances held by initiates during the mysteries and personifying the deep laws of the universe, everyone could touch the hidden wisdom and gain knowledge about the meaning of life, find their destiny, and become happy. Over time, the mysteries with their mysterious performances disappeared, and the understanding of the laws of our magical world was encrypted by the initiated sages into fairy tales. But what is the true meaning of fairy tales? To answer this question, we first need to delve a little deeper into the foundations of the ancient philosophy of the Great Mysteries. According to this philosophy, man is a threefold structure consisting of spirit, soul, and body. The initiates said that the spirit of each person lives in the divine worlds and communicates with the human body with the help of his soul. It is the developed soul that is the conductor of the laws of the divine worlds from the spirit to the human world connecting the mind, heart, and body. The mysteries of the ancient rituals taught that the soul was imprisoned in the physical world, just as the beautiful princess in fairy tales was the captive of an evil wizard locked in a dungeon or tower. Like the princess, the soul is in a state of waiting for its beloved prince who must rescue her from captivity and take her as his wife. This prince is the spirit of man whose image can be found in many children's fairy tales initiates in the mystery told that by uniting with the spirit, the soul receives from him knowledge of the divine worlds and learns to lead the human body. This is how the soul gives the body health and strength, so that a person can create for the benefit of all mankind, making the world a better place. Thanks to creativity and work, a person finds happiness and peace. Initiates in the mystery personified the human soul with the feminine principle. Meanwhile, the spirit expresses the masculine principle in each of the people. The union of spirit and soul was called the wedding union by the sages of antiquity. Thus, in the ancient mysteries, with the help of theatrical performances, the secret of the love romance of spirit and soul was shown, where the spirit united with the soul, as the prince unites in wedding ties with the princess in fairy tales, and makes the soul his companion, beloved wife, and goddess. The wedding union of spirit and soul was the main motif of all the ancient mysteries throughout the world, and according to the initiates, is the meaning of the life of any person. The secret internal ceremony of the wedding of soul and spirit makes a person God incarnate on earth. Friends, before we start analyzing the symbols in fairy tales, write in the comments which of them was your favorite as a child and why. We are very interested to know. Now let's plunge into the world of fairy tales and try to understand what they actually say. The Tale of Beauty and the Beast This wonderful fairy tale and magical story tells about a rich merchant who had three daughters. One day, a merchant went on a long journey and invited his daughters to choose any gift. Two daughters chose beautiful dresses, but the youngest daughter, whose name was Beauty, chose Rose. Returning home, the merchant picked a rose in the forest to give to his youngest daughter. After that, the beast appeared in front of him, who released the merchant in exchange for the fact that his youngest daughter, Beauty, would become a maid in the old castle of the beast. The beauty saw a good creature in the beast and fell in love with him. After Beauty's kiss, the beast turns into a handsome and noble prince. The prince falls in love with the princess with all his heart and makes her his wife. 
In this children's fairy tale, the important symbols are the rose, the deep forest, and the scary castle of the beast, the image of beauty and the beast himself. In the Middle Ages, the rose was a symbol of the mysterious and mystical order of the Knights of the Rose and Cross. This mysterious order was engaged in the construction of temples, the search for secret knowledge, and the education of people. The rose symbol signified spiritual growth and fertility. The beauty in a fairy tale is an image of the human soul, beautiful in its kindness and noble inclinations. The beauty, unlike her sisters, asks her father for a rose as a gift, denoting a person whose soul thirsts for knowledge and enlightenment. It is education and enlightenment that make a beauty out of the human soul, which becomes fertile for good and creative deeds and ideas, and, in a philosophical understanding, begins to smell fragrant like a rose. The beast is a symbol of man's animal tendencies, which rule in the dense forest of misunderstanding and stupidity. The beast is the master of the castle, personifying the stereotypical and limited thinking of man. Only a trained and elevated human soul, ennobled by the study of wisdom and the search for its inner essence, is capable of taming the animal inclinations of man. Such a soul turns the beast that lives in each person into a prince, whose powers are aimed at creating and helping other people. In a philosophical sense, this fairy tale calls for ennobling your soul with the knowledge of wisdom in order to gain power over your own animal inclinations and, thanks to this, reveal your creative potential. This is the only way a person's life becomes happy. The Tale of Cinderella Cinderella comes from the English word cinder, which means embers. This is how the sages in antiquity spoke about the human soul, in which the fire of knowledge smolders. This smoldering fire, given the proper inclinations of a person, can flare up and ennoble one's life. Thus, Cinderella is the image of the soul, which finds itself in the grip of materialism, whose personification is the evil stepmother. Having passed the difficult trials of the stepmother Cinderella, thanks to the fairy, who is the personification of the magical or divine origin in every soul, turns into a princess. The most ordinary things in the hands of this princess are filled with magic and become beautiful. For example, such as a pumpkin turned into a carriage and rats that became beautiful horses. At the ball, the princess meets the prince, who personifies the spirit of man. It is the spirit that rescues the soul from the captivity of the stepmother. He takes the soul as his wife, uniting with her in the wedding union which the sages of antiquity spoke about. Once again in this tale, we see the image of the union of the spirit and the soul in a person. With the help of connection with own divine essence, a person begins to live a spiritualized life and finds destiny. In a philosophical sense, this tale shows us that only the person who directs the sincere and noble impulses of own soul to the search for own true spiritual essence is the master of one's own life. The romance of spirit and soul fills human life with meaning, ennobling human animal aspirations. This is how Theseus kills the Minotaur and gets out of the labyrinth of delusions of material life. The Tale of the Sleeping Beauty As in the previous tale of Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty represents the soul. The needle, due to the prick of which the soul falls asleep, is a symbol of spiritual knowledge, in contact with which the soul learns about its sleeping state in the world of matter. After the prick, the princess falls asleep. The soul sleeps until the prince, who personifies the human spirit, saves it with his kiss. The spirit again frees with its love and saves the soul from material captivity, awakening it with divine wisdom and knowledge. The prince marries the princess, thereby denoting the process of spiritualization of the human soul, awakened from the sleep of ignorance in the material world. This fairy tale serves as a reminder to all people thirsting for truth about the need to search for their inner essence and about the sacrament of the wedding union of spirit and soul which must take place in every person. Some symbols and rituals of the ancient mysteries have remained in modern, everyday life to this day. One of these rituals is a wedding. The bride, dressed in a white dress, personifies the human soul. White color is a symbol of the purity of a person's spiritual aspirations. In addition, 
White is the color of death. The soul dies to the material world in order to be reborn and become the wife of its beloved spirit, personified by the bridegroom. The bridegroom is dressed in black, which means the universal mystery. He removes the veil from the bride's eyes, thereby signifying the enlightenment of the soul and its deliverance from the illusions of the material world thanks to the knowledge of the eternal, which the spirit brought with him. The external wedding is an image of a deep, intimate, internal mystery union in every person, which is the wedding of his spirit and soul. The eternal romance of spirit and soul revives the dormant romanticism of a person's nature and kindles the fire of knowledge in one's irrepressible heart, directing it to the search for truth. The Tale of Aladdin The origins of this tale are found in the ancient mysteries of the Near East. Aladdin personifies the human mind, which thanks to the magic lamp becomes a prince. What does the lamp with the almighty genie represent? This is wisdom, which allows the mind to use for good the forces of nature, which the genie personifies. Aladdin finds the lamp underground. This suggests that wisdom is gained through overcoming earthly difficulties. The flying carpet, on which Aladdin saves the princess from the evil wizard, denotes the developed spirituality of a person, which allows him to soar above the material world. The princess is an image of the soul, and the evil wizard represents human egoism, which holds the soul captive. Possessing wisdom, mind becomes a prince thanks to the wedding with the princess. Having defeated the ego and united with the soul, mind becomes the rightful ruler of the material world, which is hidden in the fairy tale behind the image of Aladdin's reign in Baghdad. The image of a king ruling a city is one of the most ancient symbols that tells a person that one must find inner peace, become a prince, combining spirit and soul, and begin to rule one's own life and destiny. This symbol is found, among other things, in the Bible when Jesus, as a king, rides a donkey into Jerusalem. If we try to unravel the symbolism of this action, we can understand that Jesus represents the spirit of man who, having tamed the animal nature, which is hidden in the image of a donkey, becomes the king of one's own life, the symbol of which is the city of Jerusalem. It is interesting to note that one of the most mysterious mystics and philosophers of ancient China, Lao Tzu, according to legend, left this world, disappearing beyond the horizon also riding on a donkey. Thanks to a deep understanding of the symbolism hidden in fairy tales, Every person can come into contact with the wisdom of the ancient mysteries, which can give meaning to human life and give a person strength and power over one's own base nature. The wisdom of the ancient mysteries teaches that a person can become happy and know true love only if the wedding union of spirit and soul takes place within him or her. The spirit brings into human life the knowledge of eternity, freeing the soul from material captivity. The spiritualized soul ennobles a person and allows one to reveal his or her inner creative potential. This is how a person becomes the creator of one's own destiny. With the help of creativity and sincere work, an individual becomes happy and makes those with whom a person comes into contact happy as well. The main purpose of fairy tales is to remind that the world around us is not just a series of grey days, but a mystery that each of us must unravel. Fairy tales say that the world has never been boring and monotonous, that there is magic and magical knowledge in it, which is owned by the sages and which was always there before the birth of a person and will always be after one leaves this world. This knowledge is the key to a happy life because it opens up to a person the understanding that one oneself represents the eternal mystery, thanks to which the sun rises over the earth every day and about which the gods whisper every night so as not to wake people up, lighting the stars on night sky.